Hey all your sons, let's see this very good question of relative motion from Pathfinder Kinematics. It's a multiple choice question. Some information is given and based on those information, we have to tell which of the four options are correct. So the beauty of this question is that if I proceed in normal way, like uh, according to the given information, if I try to write the equations of motion and try to solve those equations to arrive to the options presented and tell which option is correct or not, it will be very difficult for me to do that because a lot of inequalities will be formed. So I have chosen a different way. I will choose the uh, geometrical consideration to arrive to the conclusions. So let's try to understand what the question is trying to say. So it is saying that three particles A, B and C start moving simultaneously with constant velocities from three places. The starting places are collinear and that of B is somewhere in between that of A and C. So something like this. So this is a line from where A, B, C started uh, moving. Initially, this was the position of A, B and C and B was somewhere between A and C. So they start moving simultaneously with constant velocities. Constant velocities mean their direction of motion remain constant. It could be any direction, not necessarily on a, this line ABC. This can move in any line in this plane. And now the other next information. Well, they are saying that in the absence of C, A and B would have collided T1 time after they started. So let's try to see what this means. So suppose uh, A is moving along this path. For A, C is not moving. We are talking about the collision of A and B. They started moving simultaneously. For A and B to collide, if I draw a line parallel to line of motion of A like this, so uh, the trajectories must intersect. So obviously B should move to the left of that parallel line. So suppose one of the possible direction of uh, B such that they can collide is this. So they collide here. For the collision, they must reach to the same position, same time. So trajectory intersection is happening here. So here they collide. And uh, time taken by A to reach from here to here is T1. And the same time is taken by B to reach here. So this time is T1. So that's what they are. Now what happens? Second information. In the absence of B. In the absence of B. I mean B is not moving. A and C would have collided T2 time after. So for the collision of A and B, uh, let me draw the line parallel to line of A. This is a line parallel to line of A. So obviously uh, for A and C to collide, the C should move something to the left of this line, not even on this line because then trajectory will not intersect. So few possible trajectories of uh, A and C, suppose uh, of C, A is already fixed. So suppose C moves like this. C moves like this, C moves like this, and C moves like this. If collision happen here, A had taken time T1 to reach here because collision of A and B was taking T1 time. And now A and C are also colliding at time T2. So it means T1 is equal to T2 if collision happens here. If collision happens somewhere here, so see what happened, what does mean? A took time T1 to reach up to here. Now time interval in the collision of A and C is T2. Now because A and C collide here. So time taken by A to reach up to here is T2. And time taken by E to reach up to here is T1. So if the collision happens here. So what should that mean? That T2 should be greater than T1. The same way. If collision happens here. So the time of collision between A and C is T2, this is T2, this is T2 and A took T1 time to reach up to here. So obviously to uh, arrive up to here, the time would be less than T1. So if the collision happens here, so this T2 will be less than T1. Obviously, if the collision of A and C happens, so their trajectories we must intersect. So if the trajectory of A and C intersect in this region, in this region. I have not included this point, just about this. So I just conclude that so if A and C collide in this region, so that would mean T2 is greater than T1. If trajectories of A and C collide in this region, 
So that means T2 is less than or equal to T1, including this point. Now let's see all the options. In all the options, they're talking about particle B and C, whether they collide or not, and what interval will they collide. So here are a few trajectories of C, like this, like this, like this. And uh, this is a line parallel to line of motion of B. For B and C to collide, C should move in this region because if C moves in this region, so their trajectories will not intersect, so they cannot collide. Now see the collision of A and C once again. For A and C to collide, the C should be in this region. C should move in this region. Because this is a line, the dotted line is a parallel to line of motion of C. Again, same logic, if C is here, how can they collide? So out of these, in this reason, if C is in this reason, that would mean T2 greater than T1. I have written a T2, A and C collide in this reason, mean T2 greater than T1. So if C moves in this reason, only, only then collision of A and C can happen in this reason. And same way, if C is in this region, including this, so that would mean T2 less than equal to T1. Now coming to this part, T2 greater than T1, T2 greater than T1, B and C may and may not collect. So I concluded that for T2 greater than T1, C has to be in this region. Within this reason, further, there can be two reasons like C could be from here, move from here to here, or from here to here. If C moves from here to here within T2 greater than T1, C can move from here to here or here to here. If C can move from here to here, so trajectories of B and C can intersect because within that part, collision can happen. So B and C can collide. If trajectory of C is in this region, so B and C cannot collide. So within this reason, within this time interval, I'm repeating it. For this time interval, C can move, C should be in this interval. And if C is in this interval, B and C can collide. C can be in this interval, B and C cannot collide. So collision may or may not happen. So this option is absolutely correct. Option B. Again, for the interval T2 greater than T1, this is the interval T2 greater than T1, B and C collide. Basically, in this interval, B and C collide or not collide. Suppose I investigate for the part B and C collide. So, B and C collide means I am talking about this part where B can C can move. So, in this part, one of the trajectory of C is this. And it is written that A and C would, uh, would take T2 time to collide. So, suppose C moves this way a moves this way and a and c collide here so this time is t2 this time is t2 so this time is t2 if this time is t2 so this time is more than t2 so now i can say that the time of collision should be more than t2 but here it is written that it is t1 to t2 mean it is less than t2 so this option is incorrect now T2 less than equal to T1. Decided that for T2 less than T1, C should move within this reason. This is the reason of the motion of C only then for T2 less than equal to T1. In this reason, anywhere, if C is here, C is here, C is here, C is 100%, there will be collision between B and C. All, any line, any, any trajectory of C will intersect with B. So, B and C now must collide. In what interval? Suppose I choose this path, I choose this path, this path. So how much time they have taken? The collision of A and C takes time T2. Suppose if the I, I take this path, so in this path, the time of collision between A and C is T2. So this is T2, this is T2. And now collision between B and C is happening here. So if this is T2, so this will be less than T2. So I can say that 
in this interval b and c must collide and the time of collision will be less than equal to t2 so this option is absolutely correct and this option this is a contradict itself that is correct b and c must collide but the interval here it is saying that this was correct uh, t is less than t2 that is fine so that part is fine but because here t1 is more than t2 so how can be this interval this is the lower limit this is the upper limit lower limit has to be smaller upper limit has to be more so t1 is uh, more than t2 so t1 should be upper limit so that is wrong so this option is incorrect so i got the four uh, out of the four a and c as a correct option 